Hello, it's me, Norm, again, from MyBeerQuest.com. And it is uh, Christmas night. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, I know I got a lot of beer for Christmas that I want to... I have a lot of expeditions to do. I guess uh, people seem to know what to give me for, uh, for the holidays. <laughs> but this one, uh, I think it came from Santa. Nobody's admitting to... <laughs> to uh, giving it to me, but uh, I've seen this one for years, I, I actually I can't wait to try it, be just because I've seen it for years, and I've always kind of wondered about it, so uh, without, I, I, I really don't know that much about it, it seems uh, more of a novelty beer, but who knows, might be kind of good, it's called Lump of Coal, and it's a dark uh, holiday stout, it is kind of a cold night here, especially for, for me, you know, in Southern California, I'm not used to the weather being this cold. We've actually had some really cold nights lately. Um, so I uh, can't wait to try it. Uh, like I said, don't know much about it. If you want to leave a comment uh, and you do know, know about it. Um, so um, it says much more than you deserve for Xmas this year. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Santa knows something. I got on one of Santa's... Uh, list <laughs> just has a regular plain cap so I, i'm not worried about density or anything i'm gonna go get a pick out a glass i think um, a mug deserves maybe uh, a stout deserves a mug maybe so i'm just gonna get myself an old uh, mug kind of dusty. You know, I was going to get a dimpled mug, but uh, they've been sitting back there for a while. I don't feel like rinsing them out right now. And also, I remember uh, someone just gave me these uh, beer mugs uh, for Christmas. Which I can't. I can't wait to try. This was uh, given to me by my uh, coworker Paul. Thanks, Paul. And thank you, Santa, for the beer. Although it's much more than I deserve this year. Look how dark that is. I guess that's why they call this lump of coal. Mmm. Got like it's really wonderful aroma though for a stout. Uh, let me find the uh, ABV. Oh, product of the United Kingdom. So it is an import, a English ale. It's eight percent alcohol by volume. So, uh, hmm. wow, that's a nice. Uh, it wasn't what I expected. Uh, it's a very nice. Uh, very nice stout. Usually, uh, I'm expecting you know the dark roasted uh, grain up front, which I didn't really get uh, from this one. Um, let me taste it again. Well, it's a very nice. Uh, you, you do get like that burn uh, taste in the finish, um, like the uh, the burnt. Uh, what do you call it? Grain, uh, sort of, uh, it's a rich, uh, it's not a, as rich as I thought it was. Uh, a lot of stouts I've had have been really thick and rich. It is rich, but it's not as rich as I thought it was. I think that might be because it's 8% maybe. But it is very nice. It's a very nice uh, stout. So, uh, <laughs> I was actually, I wasn't expecting much, though, because I, I thought it was kind of a novelty uh, beer. Um, I'll try to find out more about this brewery. Uh, if anybody else knows uh, yeah, more about the brewery, please uh, post it. Uh, and I might even try, I like the bottles. really like that bottle. Uh, once I start, you know, if I get, ever get a chance to start home brewing again, which I hope to soon, I just haven't had the time. I might uh, just save this for the bottle. So it's a really nice uh, bottle for homebrew. So, well, uh, thanks for stopping by. 
Have, I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Have a happy and safe New Year. I'm sure I'll talk to you before then because i got lots of beers to talk about. So, cheers. Enjoy your beer.